some challenges that students with obesity face within a school setting? So, you know, within school settings, um, there are teams that monitor how students are doing. Um, oftentimes they're um, provided by a multidisciplinary team in schools led by educators and other um, school staff, principals, and uh, school nurses and other um, people who are, you know, supporting that student. Um, a common framework that they use is a multi-tiered system of support or MTSS. And this focuses on the whole child, really looking at you know, how they're doing and um, how they can be supported academically, um, including behavioral support, emotional, social supports, and dealing with absenteeism. You know, and dealing a little bit more about um, behavioral issues, you know, um, the, the school nurse is often the first person who will identify a student is struggling. Um, with some social emotional issues and you know the the school nursing office is a, a safe and trusted location within the school so we have many students who arrive there and and have various needs um, prior to the pandemic about one-third of student visits in the school nurse's office were related to mental health concerns and so um, you know I think it's important to realize that you know school nurses are really those frontline healthcare providers Students with obesity often can um, face challenges uh, throughout the school day with nutrition and uh, physical activity. You know, there's lots of classroom celebrations, uh, food rewards that occur in the school setting. Um, there are vending machines that may offer um, items, of course, that are um, low in nutrition and high in calories and sugar. Um, and so, you know, within the school system, it's important that, um, you know, we look at non-rewards for food. Um, vending machines um, that offer healthy alternatives. And there has been a lot of work in this area. Uh, the USDA um, did update their nutritional guidance and many schools um, took advantage of that and, and really promoted that. Um, but there's more work to be done, of course. So, you know, schools do advocate for a healthy school environment. We want our students to be active 